really turning to the dark side. A few months ago, this Bruce Wayne's was a subservient to a T-Bar. And now, what are you what are you griping about? You don't get a redo. No, go away. Oh my god. POS. I can smell warrior. That's not me. Johnny Casanova wasting no time attacking Bruce Wayans before the match even starts. Uh, and yeah, things are. I have not heard a bell. I don't think the bell is wrong, no. Referee is not called for. These competitors haven't set themselves. Here we go. Two competitors in the ring. And Caden's uh, out, so uh, here we go. And there we go. Bell time. Your main event of the evening. I can't believe we're saying this. Number one contendership match for the Tag Team Championship. J.K. Pop and Bruce Wayne's and Ativa. What year are we in? Uh, yeah. Is it, oh, and make a wish. 2017. I... Early advantage here against the final boss. Oh, what's that? Boot right to the back of the head. And, and look at this, J.K. Pop doing what they do best, cutting the ring in half, distracting the referee, allowing Kaden Koyama there to get in a few extra shots behind the referee's back. Well, that's what they do best. They are back to what they are best at, being a tag team. Yeah. I guess they got over everything they needed to get over at Milestone 13 in that best two out of three falls match. I thought that was a thing of beauty, Lucas. I, was... I bet you enjoyed every last second of that. Didn't you? I sure did. I was tickled pink. But now they are back on the same page and with an opportunity to regain those tag team titles. Chapa City better hope to get themselves on the same page. Look at Bruce so. Wayne's is out of bad ways, blindfolded by his own tie. Desperately needing to make that tag, Lucas. Atiba needs to get in this if they hope to move on and challenge the, the NRW Tag Team Champions at NRW, or Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Champions at NRW. Apologize. And I don't understand why he wears that tie. It never has been a, a good thing for him. It's a power tie. Only a two counts. J.K. Pop are just milliseconds away from claiming that number one contendership. Well, regardless of the problems that Johnny and Caden have had, they still have uh, been on the same page a lot more than Atiba and Bruce Wayne's have. Johnny Casanova catching that back kick, but didn't watch out for that front kick. Bruce Wayne's trying to fight his way out of that corner. Casanova taking advantage of the double team. They are doing a beautiful job of keeping Atiba and Bruce oh, Lance off Harold. separated. Atiba gets hit. Atiba. Atiba trying to get back in, but met by the referee. This is allowing for this distraction to take place. Cheating it's, behind the referee's back. It's what they do best. I don't understand why Bruce Wayans and Atiba don't know this by now. This is what you always have to watch out for when you take, take on J.K. Pop. They are going to cause distractions. They are going to do whatever it takes to get the referee to turn his back and get the advantage. Dare I say that J.K. Pop right now looks stronger than they've ever looked before? <laughs> yeah, they are. I think that match was the absolute best thing for them. And now they, well, as soon as I say that. Well, the, an accidental strike to Katie Koyama, and here comes Atiba, the Rocky Mountain Dragon. Oh, oh my, wow. And the Beerstadt Lager House is on their feet. Dragon's Claw. One, two. No, two count. Almost a victory for Chapa City. Well, as much of a jerk as Atiba's been, he still has got, got it in the ring, man. Oh, my goodness. And again, the accidental knock to his own opponent. Flapjack. That had a little, little syrup on it. 
And here we go, finish ring by number time! This might be it. Chopper City with the three count! Your new number one contenders! Here are your winners! The Rocky Mountain Dragon and Diva! The Final Boys Bruce Wayne's Chopper City! And the Beer Stat Lager House absolutely electric! For Choppa City, Lucas. I can't believe it. Choppa City just defeated J.K. Pop to be the number one contenders. And what must Preston be thinking right now? They'll face the Lemon Lords at NRW. Ladies and gentlemen, what a main event we had this evening. We had your longest reigning Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Champions and J.K. Pop finally getting their chance. Now that La Isla is not the Tag Team Champions anymore. They went up against a surprising returning front of Bruce Wayans and Atiba, also known as Chapa City. Yeah, no, uh, this was a great tag team match. And we have arguably the greatest tag team in Rocky Mountain Pro history, certainly the longest reigning tag champs, led by uh, Mr. P.O.S., uh, and they come out, and they're going up against the tag team we haven't seen uh, in a while in Chopper City. They certainly haven't been on the same page in a while. We went through the whole indentured servitude thing with Bruce and Atiba. Atiba went through his dark period there. But tonight just seemed like they looked like they were on the same page. You get the intro. Atiba's got the big finger back, the foam finger. Looks like he's back to the old Atiba. They come out. And I'll tell you, they take on a very game J.K. Pop type. But I'll tell you, Marky, what I saw was the change in this match. And the change overall that I've seen is when Atiba takes the hot tag near the end. This is the old Atiba. This is the fired up Atiba. This is the Rocky Mountain Dragon. This isn't the go low, do whatever I need to to win. This is come in and just throw hands and bring the ruckus. If KD was here, he'd say he brings the ruckus. And he did tonight. Great hot tag. Huge double team to get a win. He hit a big Dragon's Fang that just completely took Johnny Casanova out of thinking the world. He's holding on to the ground so he didn't fall off the earth at this point after he got hit with that knee. Um, what a big win tonight for Chopper City. First time they've been back in a while and on the same page. And it looks like they haven't been, they haven't missed a step since they got here. Titus, you know Chopper City better than most of us. You've seen it before. J.K. Pops, I got upended. What do the Lemon Lords have to look forward to with Chopper City coming? Well, I got to first say, um, I was, for most of that matchup, just uh, impressed by the fluidity of J.K. Pop. Having gone through what they went through at Milestone uh, and the, in the build-up to Milestone and everything that's gone on around that, uh, they looked great. Uh, then some of the match got out of control and they looked to be a step or two out of sync. And um, that was a, that would, for me, that was the second biggest story of this matchup. Obviously, the big story, to your point, is Choppa City. You've got two former Rocky Mountain Pro champions um, teaming up, two friends, two guys who've gone through some rough times here recently uh atiba being very uh very different over the last year or so maybe a little longer than that and uh you know he he, he put bruce through the ringer and a few weeks ago atiba's moping backstage you guys remember this he was moping backstage and bossy walks up and says hey how about trying it my way this time we did it your way your way sucked let's do it my way you got my you got my back. Am I gonna get that dragon? And we got that dragon. And they're gonna be headed off to NRW. They're gonna be taking on uh, the tag team champions, the Lemon Lords. I feel like if Atiba and Boss can get some some tag team matches, uh, some so you know, on ignition, get some extra work in kind of re-sync themselves as a team, they're going to have a huge advantage going into this tag team match uh, at NRW. Because the Lemon Lords aren't as 
haven't been together as long. Don't have quite. They don't. They don't. They don't. I don't know if they travel together. I don't know if they hang out together. I, I. I don't know a lot about them. But Atiba and Bruce. If we get Atiba and Bruce from just a couple of years ago, these are guys travel together. They hang together. They they work out together. They they eat, drink, they do everything. They're going to be synced up and be right where they need to be. I would just want to see a couple of matches, uh, maybe a, a, a you know a match on ignition or a couple of matches on ignition. Try to get one for charged. Try to get yourself ready because I think they have a real shot at beating Lemon Lords uh, if we get that succinct team of uh, Bruce and Atiba. All right. All Oops, sir. Right, all right. Meant to, meant, meant to hit the mute button. No, I couldn't agree any more with you, man. You know, you're right. They, they've talked about how they've been together before. Maybe just a little bit of, like, rust teaming together after so long being singles competitors. But, Titus, I think you're right. After a couple little matches, just kind of getting back on sync, just getting everything back dialed into the same gear, they're going to be an unstoppable force. And taking nothing away from the Lemon Lords, but the cohesion and the chemistry will be on Chopper City's side in, by far. And that's going to be their biggest advantage. That's going to be their hugest advantage going into this tag team match to get those belts off of those two other knuckleheads. Because to be honest, it would be good to see this story culminate between two friends that were the best of bros and then that had to fight and then are back to being the best of bros and then climb the, to the top of the mountain. This would be a great culmination of a full circle story for Chopper City. And I'm for one, I'm here for it. I hope they do it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, but, that was... But the... they have to work as a team. They They're do. They're two very, very established single stars who had some success as a team. Can they make that changeover? It's a big difference to work, you know, having success as a single star versus success in a tag team. There's a lot of giving in a tag team scenario that's why you see a team like jk pop having been so successful and why the 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 struggles they went through a milestone were so stark because they're a they're, they're family they're they give to each other in, in 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 every possible way and that's how you become successful is that you're in a team that's how you that's how a marriage works right you're in a team and so I, I think if, if Bruce and Atiba take the energy from tonight, push it forward the next, you know, four or five weeks to NRW, man, they could, they could be riding high as former Rocky Mountain Pro champions and tag team champions.